And so being able to access my equipment and take a shower while the bikes are still on the rack is totally awesome. Really straightforward, both cases, great products, and uh, the whole thing start to finish if you're focused, probably three hours. What's up everybody, it's Pete with Chill Dude Videos, and today I'm installing the Wilco Swing Arm Hitch Assembly and the UOT NV 2.0 bike rack to put on top of it, on you know, hanging off the back of it. And this is for the, the short body 2017 four wheel drive high top sprinter. If you like what's going on, hit that like button, ding that bell for notice when my stuff's coming out. Love to hear your comments and subscribe would be totally awesome. After being down at the Overland Expo, I mean, you gotta have a bike rack. You gotta have, because you wanna have a couple bikes, because once you get somewhere, number one, you need exercise, and it's just a cool, fun thing to do. You gotta have a heavy duty bike rack. In the case of the Sprinter, what I want, I wanna be able to open these doors, <laughs> unlock them. I wanna open these doors while I have the bikes up, which means you need to be able to swing the bike rack out of the way. I went with the Wilco. We'll go off-road swing arm, which I will then attach my high-end bike rack to so it can withstand the forces of off-road because they break. I mean, you gotta really have the highest end gear, toughest stuff you can if you wanna put bikes in the back of a four-wheel drive vehicle. So that's what we're doing today. Is uh, That's what I'm doing today. This is by no means a step-by-step, -step, it's just a, hey, you might wanna check out that. We'll go off-road. So basically this, this piece, with this really cool locking cam wedge so it isn't rattling. I just love that. I wish I'd had one of those on every hitch I'd ever had in my entire life. So you'll, I'll insert that in there and then this swing arm goes on there, <clears throat> which you'll pull a pin and then you can swing the bikes out of the way and access the, everything in the rear compartment, which being a, you know, a high roof guy that's got the shower on the back and because it's a four wheel drive version, a spare tire goes underneath. I know a ton of people put their spare tires on the back along with a variety of other like compartments and stuff. Not me, man. As long as I can, I'm going for a clean back with nothing but the swing out arm bike rack on there so I can get instant convenient access to all the equipment I've got stored underneath here as well as use the shower. All right, Wilco, way to go, that was easy. I bet you I could have done that from start to finish if I'd been a little more engaged in probably 45 minutes. You need to have a torque wrench otherwise, and then extenders for your socket wrench, but really straightforward, and it works great. I like it, Wilco, I like it. Okay, Kuat's got a challenge because Wilco made that easy, so. Let's see, I've got the Kuat NV 2.0. So we'll see how this works. Um, I'll let you know. Okay, so 30 minutes was probably optimistic, more like an hour, and it's been an absolute delight. I love how everything feels, the, dis the directions. It went together smoothly. I'm not actually quite done because I was interrupted after reading disclaimer that's on the side of the hitch saying that I it, this hitch is not to be used off paved su surfaces, which obviously sounds like a big problem. Immediately got through to Kuat customer service and was very quickly actually pushed up to bill the operations manager. And we had a great discussion. I. They've got a sportsmobile, I, they, I don't know if it's a sport, they've got a sprinter, four by four sprinter down there that they've got this hitch on. Their people, yeah, I get the sense it's a good group of people that do serious off-road. It's like a lawyer wrote the thing on the side of the hitch. And so it's clearly a, you know, it's a lawyer disclaimer. My big beef, which remains, and he acknowledged, is they don't have any of that on the outside of the packaging. So you go to REI and REI says, yeah, this should work or wherever. I actually researched a lot more than just REI. You can't, there's nowhere on this packaging. I, I read all that stuff. There's nowhere on there that says anything about this is not suitable for anything off the paved surface. So having said that, I actually think it is suitable, especially in the case of a sprinter. And as Bill pointed out, I mean, they've got this whole world they've got to prepare for, and some of it is some really crazy off-road stuff. So the, 
what I came away with is if you're not jumping, you know, a foot or two foot or three foot, if you're not subjecting the vehicle to those types of off-road stresses, I'm not going to break that thing without breaking a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm not going to want to break in my sportsmobile sprinter. So we'll see how it works, but that's kind of that. All right, that went pretty well. I'd never touched either the, the Wilco off-road swing out hitch before or the Kuat NV 2.0. And so I think if I had just kind of focused on it, I could have moved through installation of both of them in under probably three hours. And, uh, and they're great, it's looking great. Seems like, I mean, it's a long way out from the rig, so check it out, it's almost five feet. Um, but you know, this NV 2.0 is awesome. I just love the way it works. And uh, you gotta love this built-in lock. Comes right out of there. So that's totally cool. You know, this bike has kind of wide handlebars and I was still able to put that in the first position. It, dro it drops down for people that want to drop it down in order to open up their hatchbacks. But in my case, you know, I'm using, of course, the Wilco swing out to just pull a pin. Check this out. This is what it's all about. First time, it's the first time I got to tighten that up. That's a cool little thing uh, the NV 2.0 has where you can swing that up and service your bike. So check it out. Swing it out. Swing it out. Loving it. So I can, tire doesn't hit the beagle and the door opens the whole way, which means I can access my equipment. And of course, the cool thing about these sportsmobile conversions is uh, pull your shower out. This closes off, there's a little cloth that goes across here and you've got a private shower stall. And so being able to access my equipment and take a shower while the bikes are still on the rack, is totally awesome. I hope you guys found that informative. Big thumbs up, especially for the Wilco swing arm uh, hitch assembly, which enables me to mount the UWAT NV 2.0 bike rack on it and still, you know, easily swing it out and access everything in my back compartment of my, you know, high top uh, sportsmobile, which most specifically is the storage underneath the seats where I, you know, where the bed is, and then, and also importantly, is the shower assembly. So, you know, because it's a four wheel drive, like I said before, the, the spare's up underneath, and that lets me keep that back clean. And I love that back clean because I want instant access and, uh, and the shower. I'm really pleased with the combination and have had a chance to break it in, and it's just worked out great. Hey, if you like what's going on, let me know in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe, and if you ding the little bell, then you're gonna get a notice when my next stuff comes out. Thanks for watching. You know, one thing I will say, because this is guy, we, I've had this for a couple months now, so I put about quite a few thousands of miles on it. When I had the suspension done, I had the guys grind that corner off right there, and that enabled me to open this. Aha! Uh -huh. Check that out. So until we ground that off, unfortunately, the Wilco is just was obstructing it actually varies a little bit with temperature so you know we just ground it down through a little black paint on it the guys down at bucks 4x4 in Boise really appreciate it thanks guys and it makes it so it just now works perfectly I called Wilco so I wonder if they might make a slight modification on that because that's just a darn shame right but now it works great